All right, right now we're going to go up to track announcer Larry Letterman for the piece de resistance, the final of the three diamonds. Larry? Gary, here we go. Field lining up. A stellar bunch. 10 to your pacing fillies. Ready to go. All over half a million on the line. The gate moves away. And they're off. On the outside, Beach Binge is heard from early. On the inside, flailing away. Right now, the best speed is coming out of Armbro Romance. Also leaving out of there. One half of the favorite entry, Life Cycle. They move into the turn. Armbro Romance really speeding things up. Going to be a good first quarter. On the outside, Morgan wants no part of that. He wants to lead with Life Cycle. And the Brittany Farm representative is up after the lead. But here comes Beach Binge on the outside with a furious rush. Searching for what Life Cycle has through a quarter and 28 and one fifth. Now they go on to the backside and Beach Binge leads it. But here comes my brown eyed girl on the outside. And now, with a passion plea for the leaders, trying to make it on the inside. Has to give up the lead. There was Life Cycle is giving up to Beach Binge. Morgan will have to sit third. My brown eyed girl is cruising up after the lead and will solidify the front. Coming over to the midway point. Armbro Romance now finds herself in fourth. Another two lengths on the outside. Looking to pick things up as Presidential Lady. Buried at the fence now and trying to sneak through. And and showing a little bit more there is natural ingredient a half of 56 and one fifth now back behind poor cover take flight it has to set up for a huge stretch kick because right now it's backed up behind poor cover then it's a length and a half on the inside totally locked in and can't get out is the road to pandalay on the outside career success and nothing in the works from yankee aspen it comes to three quarters my brown eyed girl trying to make her year into a cinderella story she's hitting on all cylinders and she passes three quarters and 125 and one She's a less than 30 seconds from adding a name to an elite list. The ninth name on the list. And my brown eyed girl right now has exploded. It's flying past the eighth pole right now. And Manzi trying to put the finishing touches. He's rocking the boat. Here comes the last second desperation. Take flight on the outside. But real estate is facing against her. And my brown eyed girl, she does it. She takes the three diamonds with an impeccable drive by Cat Manzi. Take flight. Came up a few strides short. There's a photo for third, a mile, and a brilliant. And there you see my brown-eyed girl, owned by Jamie Boslaw and the Guider Racing Stable, trained by Brett Pelling, Noel Daly of the Brett Pelling Stable, and the winning driver, Kat Manzi. My brown-eyed girl picks up her fifth win in 13 starts this year, and the biggest of her career, the $506,000 final of the three diamonds. Right now, there you see Jamie Boslaw and some of the other happy owners. We're going to send it down to Ken Warkington, who's standing by with those happy connections. Ken? Hey. And we have winning driver Kat Manzi here, certainly a success story here in New Jersey. Uh, with the horses coming from off the pace, the adverse conditions tonight, uh, did you have any uh, thoughts or uh, trepidations about leaving and going to the front tonight and trying to hold on? I had no plans of going to the front. I, you know, the Phillies always raced their best following and chasing, and, and I went into the race thinking that's how I'd go about it, but I tried to stay loose, and uh, she was really grabbing on and I just had to change my plan and I know she was good so I just tried to give her a chance. She's a real improved filly. I mean that's a three straight and of course a track record here as you race to the far turn. Uh, you take the uh, take charge with this filly and last week you said she was the best filly uh, out of all three eliminations, right? Yeah, I would say so. I mean she was the last three weeks he's just really found the gas pedal on her. And obviously, uh, Brett Pelling doing a great job this uh, with all three fillies here. A uh, brown-eyed girl turning for home here. You're getting after her, but uh, she's responding. Well, she's sometimes she's a little slow right at the end, but uh, tonight she was just super. And uh, seems to be maturing as uh, as we move along. Exactly. Okay, well, congratulations, Kat Manzi and my brown-eyed girl. I picked another one, Gary. Uh, yeah, you did, Ken. I picked this one along with you, so you did not stand alone here. And there we take a look at my brown-eyed girl, who will certainly be heard from in 1998 as one of the leading three-year-old Philly Pacers in the sport. But there you have it, my brown-eyed girl, 480, 220, and 210.